photos show a smiling Stephanie Adams, the former Playboy playmate seemingly full of life. A stark contrast from how she died. Police believe she jumped more than 20 stories from the Gotham Hotel, taking her seven-year-old son Vincent with her. One of the guests of the hotel, they called on the lobby, they said we saw uh, dead body. The alleged murder-suicide left hotel staffers and guests stunned. Police say Adams and her son checked in last night around 6 p.m., staying in a penthouse on the 25th floor of the East 46th Street Hotel. She allegedly jumped from there, both of them landing in a courtyard on the second floor. A guest made the gruesome discovery this morning. They heard two loud noises. Adams was no stranger to news coverage. In 2006, she filed a lawsuit against the NYPD, eventually winning a $1.2 million settlement. She also talked with CBS2 in 2015 about the lack of crossing guards at an intersection downtown. My son and I almost got hit by a bus, MTA bus. At the time, she expressed concern for her son's safety. Now both lives tragically ended. Police sources say they found no suicide note in that penthouse suite, but they do confirm the mother was in a bitter custody battle with her ex-husband over their seven-year-old son. Divorce attorney Raul Felder was not currently representing Adams, but says he's been friends with her for 20 years. He believes other things must have been going on in her life, which led to this. I walked in and they're all crying here uh, because they all knew the little boy. Because the last conversation I had with her was very positive and nothing like this. Police sources say the Administration for Children's Services had been making visits to the home for the last seven months as the custody case played out. The NYPD also had several domestic incidents on record. All of it now part of the investigation as police try to answer so many questions. In Midtown, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.